a lovely home we've just listed here in the community of Boundary Bay in sunny Tawasson. But before we show you the house, we wanted to show you some of the area highlights. And of course, where I'm located right now, which is the beautiful beach, Centennial Beach, here in Boundary Bay on this perfect summer day. So for any of you that don't know Boundary Bay, it's a small beachside community. There's a few hundred homes here. There's very little commercial, so it's quiet. It's neighborhoodly. Uh, lots of young families, retirees. And just to give you an idea of where we are located uh, specifically, we've got Point Roberts, which is literally the U.S. border, is literally about three city blocks in that direction. So we can be on the U.S. border in about a three minute walk. Over there behind me, and you get a clear shot of it today is Mount Baker. That's about 70 miles in the distance. And that's White Rock right across the, right across Boundary Bay is White Rock, uh, right on the U.S. border as well. And then of course this way, we're looking back towards the North Shore Mountains and Vancouver. So before we head up to the house, to Wasson and Boundary Bay, it's, a, it's an area located right down in the uh, southern part of the Lower Mainland. And I didn't know this, but we get, uh, or the area gets about three times more sunshine uh, than up in Vancouver. So it is very sunny and it's much drier down here. So in a minute, we're gonna walk over to the house, uh, just literally two minute walk from here. But my point here is today, you can live in this fabulous community. You're steps to the beach. Uh, you've got Tawasson Mills Outlet Mall, a few minutes drive up the road. The village of Tawasson is close by. BC Ferries, uh, which take you to the Gulf Islands of Victoria, is a 10 minute drive. We're 40 minutes from downtown Vancouver, about 30 minutes or 25 minutes from the airport. And uh, so they, it's a, just a great place to live if you're a uh, young family or retirees. It's a total laid back beach uh, village sort of lifestyle. So we're gonna head now to the house. So I'm standing in front of our new listing here at 233 67th Street here in Tawasson. I've got this little sign here because it sort of notates that, uh, well, if I'm not here, I'm at the beach. The beach is literally about a two minute walk from this location. So this home, uh, we've just put on the market, the asking price is $1,158,000. It's a 1,500 square foot home. It was built originally in the mid 1970s. It was renovated about 20 years ago. The house is in great condition. It's move in. This would be a great home for a retired couple. Maybe they're leaving the chaos of the city and they want to move to a nice laid back community like Boundary Bay or a young family. So we're going to take a look inside. But before we do that, Matthew, I'll get you to sort of peer around and just show this lovely uh, east facing uh, outdoor courtyard area. It's totally private. And it's middle of the afternoon right now and it is sun filled. So it's sunshine all morning and then into the afternoon. And then we're gonna walk into the house. Come in and take a look. It's a three bedroom, one level house. So it's a bungalow. It's easy maintenance, easy living all on one level. Come on in. So you've got a nice sort of formal entry here. Uh, nice place to sort of greet your guests. It's all hard surface floors. There's no carpet, hypoallergenic, nice and easy to maintain. Uh, this is your formal dining, sorry, your formal living area. Uh, large gas fireplace, and it's open to a lovely uh, dining area over here. Okay, it's easy to furnish. The rooms are all square, so it's, uh, there's no odd, funny angles. Nice and easy to place your furniture. Uh, through this room here, you're gonna find a lovely kitchen. It's all with white cabinetry. It was renovated again. It looks like it was done sort of some, maybe 15 years ago. It's got uh, granite countertops, uh, updated cabinetry, undermount sink, it's got a newer fridge, uh, nice and sunny with two big skylights. So again, a nice place to uh, prepare the food. If you wanted to, this wall is, v is, is probably hollow and you can probably open this up and create a much more open concept layout in the house if you wanted to open up this kitchen. Through there, we don't need to spend too much time at this point, but there's your laundry room is through there and your, um, uh, your furnace. The mechanical on this house has all been updated as well, so updated mechanical, uh, which is great. Come on through here. Uh, we've got uh, towards the back side of the house, you've got the three bedrooms down this hallway. We've got a full bathroom here. A 
And then down here we've got uh, one guest bedroom or a second bedroom through here. Again, good size, that's a queen size bed, so you can see it amply takes a queen size bed. The master bedroom is on this side, nice large master. There's a half en suite in there. I'll just run ahead and turn the light on because we've got to put the light on. Actually, it's not a half en suite, it's a full en suite. There we go with the tub and shower combination. This is a large room, so this is a king size bed, easily accommodate two nice big side tables. You've got a large closet here as well. And we're overlooking the backyard, which we'll get to in a minute. And then bedroom number three is right here, or it could be a den or an office. And then probably sometime in the last 10, 15 years, the owners extended this section of the house. This is an add-on. It's a lovely sunny uh, sunroom. Uh, and uh, it's got, again, two big skylights. And this is overlooking the uh, west side of the property. It's a completely private backyard. You could add a hot tub out here. You could really you know, do whatever you want. Think of it as a blank canvas, but the home is lovely. We'll walk out here. And you can see it's well all day sun back here. And if you come around here, Matthew, you can sort of pan and sort of look at the house back this way. Love the style of these 19 sort of 70s bungalows. And then the last thing we'll show you is over this way here, is everyone always wants a garage. So this house doesn't disappoint. It's got a nice single car garage, lots of extra cabinetry, storage. It's got a remote door on it and uh, park your car in here or, 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 or store it up with extra stuff that uh, you don't have space for in the house. This is 233 67th Street. We're gonna continue the video and we're gonna show you a couple of other great uh, areas in Boundary Bay, which if you're moving here, you get to enjoy. So uh, we'll see you over at the Secret Garden. So everybody, we're here at the Secret Garden in Boundary Bay. And what makes Boundary Bay so special is the Secret Garden. Uh, many people don't even know this exists in the Lower Mainland. Of course, if you live in Boundary Bay, you probably know about the Secret Garden. So what's the Secret Garden? It's a lovely little uh, quiet uh, uh, garden oasis, just in behind, tucked in behind a small little uh, subdivision of homes in Boundary Bay. It's been maintained for the last 11 years by one of the local area residents. I understand he's a retired roofer. He lives close by and he maintains the secret garden. So it's a place to come and meditate, to enjoy the uh, beautiful plants. There's some tropical plants here. Uh, there's plants that are indigenous to the area, but it's a little quiet enclave to come. You maybe want to read a book, you want to walk the dog, or you just want to come and uh, enjoy some nature. So let's go check out the secret garden. This is literally about a two minute walk from 233 67th Street, the house we were just at. So come on, let's take a look. So we're just gonna enter the secret garden here in Boundary Bay. And obviously you really need to be here to appreciate it, but I'm just gonna sort of give you a quick little walkthrough and show you what this place is all about. It's really just an incredible piece of nature, beautifully manicured gardens, uh, lots of foliage that's um, indigenous to the area. And it's a place to come and be quiet and just enjoy the outdoors. There's places to sit. I mean, it's the month of June and there's a beautiful big, uh, I don't know, 18 foot banana tree there. There's palm trees, Japanese maples. There's a monkey tree up ahead. Look at this monkey tree. Really quite special. Hi, Hi folks. It's a bird bath here. Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. Here's the wishing well. And it continues on a little bit further back, but we thought we'll sort of end it here. And uh, if you're interested, come out to the Secret Garden and enjoy it for yourself here in Boundary Bay. The last stop on our tour today is going to be uh, up towards the new Southlands development. 
We're going to tell you a little bit about that, and that's something that's coming. It's quite exciting to the Boundary Bay area. It's a master plan community. And we're going to head there next. So Southlands at Boundary Bay, it's a brand new master plan community development that's going to be opening this coming fall, they say. It's a 540 acre development uh, in Boundary Bay. And the development is comprised, it's the first of its kind in North America. It's going to bring together basically agriculture, our farming and living all in one. So there's going to be a master plan community with a village center. Uh, there's going to be crafts, craft type businesses. I understand there might be a uh, craft brewery, a village center where you can buy your produce. The produce all being grown just in behind us here in the uh, fields of Southlands. There's going to be um, uh, cottage style living, townhouses, condominiums. It's going to be a great addition to Boundary Bay. There's going to be bike trails, walking trails. Uh, it's going to add a lot to the community. It's going to bring more residents into the community. And uh, it's all coming this coming fall into the Boundary Bay area of Tawasson. So again, if you're thinking of moving to this fabulous area, you've got the Secret Garden. You've got Centennial Beach, an amazing beach where the tide goes out for over almost a mile out. Uh, you've got a community with uh, lots of families, retirees. It's a very quiet, safe little corner of the lower mainland a great place to come and live and of course now you've got Southlands which is coming to the area as well this is Andrew and Jill Hasman from Remax we welcome your calls we welcome your inquiries and if you're interested in this home at 233 67th street give us a call or contact your realtor